Welcome everybody to the Latin Nerds Network. My name is Jose and this is The Watch List, your virtual TV guide where we review all the shows released on streaming and set you up for what's coming up next week as well, which we do at the end of the show. So you guys can queue up all the shows you should be pay paying some attention to. Of course, I'm not alone here. We join us, uh, join us by a host uh, live from Houston, big bro himself, is Senor Jaime, the ambassador of love himself. Chewy, how you doing? What's up, brother? What's going on, man? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, fourth week in football, or fifth week? Fifth week of football. Week five. Week five, and, you know, happy to report you, you're still uh, struggling, struggling a little bit there. <laughs> you know, this team's not quite coming together. And this morning's game, I'm still struggling. Yeah, no, yes. you well, rely on the Jets. That's, yep, what, that's what you exactly. get. Exactly. The lesson in life, never rely on anything Jets. Uh, or Falcons for that matter. Uh, but do we know, uh, not a lot of shows this week. Uh, some mixed bag, I think, personally. Mm -hmm. We'll get into that stuff. But I always like to, I know we talk about <clears throat> revisiting this show because um, we, we usually revisit shows which are, I would assume, be must watch. Like, oh, we got to talk about it. It finally ended, particularly now that some shows are being released it's almost like on a week to week basis. Uh, mm -hmm. This particular show, of course, we got Ted Lasso, which ended uh, Lasso. this Friday. A show has got a lot of critical acclaim for good reason. A show that we both love. Uh, season mm -hmm. two finally ended. We talked about it briefly when it first came out, first three episodes, you know, weeks ago. So it did end finally. So Chu, I'll let you take lead on here. What do you think about the finale and just the season in general? Uh, I, I mean, I, I really like it. I like it a lot. I know the, the finale has been divisive. Uh, in certain circles, with the uh, we'll call it the heel, the Nate heel turn. Um, <laughs> Dumbass <laughs> Nate. Yeah, stupid Nate. Um, I, but but it wasn't like it was not completely out left field. I, I think they've been they've been with that particular character working certain elements in his development um, to get to to this point where you know obviously he's frustrated and angry. And, and bitter I have more than anything else, right? I mean, obviously, he, 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 this is a guy who, who's been picked on. He's been a little guy syndrome, essentially, Napoleon syndrome. Um, it's, you know, treated as dirt, felt he was deserved, got the opportunity and, and got a claim, and he really got the head quick. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of went from there. <laughs> but overall, I mean, this is a very, very good comedy. Good comedy, good drama. It, it's... It, it's this at its core is a show about relationships, you know, uh, husband, wife, uh, best friends, uh, coach, player, owner, coach. Uh, I mean, it, it, there's so many different relationships that they that they intertwine within the show and that any any meaningful, relevant, heartfelt way um, has heavy on pop culture references, everything from uh, uh, from uh, Van, uh, the fair to remember. To the whole uh, uh, fiasco with Ryan Reynolds and ownership of, a, of an English Premier League team and stuff, so they they speak a lot of it. They take no prisoners, and it's in good jest. Um, there were some great moments in the season. I think one of my favorites definitely was was the episode with Roy Kent, um, and it was basically the the I had you at hello. Uh, so the Jerry Maguire. Yeah, it was, it was uh, the, the rom the rom communism. The rom com episode. Uh, was it rom communism? Uh, which was great. So, there's this one when, uh, when he's at the studio and he realizes, hey, he, he wants to coach. And he, he's talking to, to, to the commentator. It's like, you don't have to go. It's like, yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> he's just looking at each other. You know? And I thought that was the wrong calm moment. But then we get through the whole end where, where it was like, oh, you, you had me at coach. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was classic. It was, yeah, I mean, it, and first of all, Rick Kent's fucking awesome, right? Um, oh, God, that guy's great. Man. On, he, he, I think he probably could have stolen the show this season. Um, I, I like to say. I mean, he's a he's a man's man, yeah. but he's an evolving character where it, he he he's tough. But you know, obviously, with his relationship with Keely, he, he he's understanding how to uh, put himself out there and how to love someone and how to grow as a person. Not just being a, a caveman, right? Per se. No, exactly. And and I think I like the season more than last season. I'll get that for Natty in a second. But overall, I think this one explored all the side characters, right? That were introduced last season. We got an episode on the, on the Coach Beard, and you know, oh, that was great. I love that centric ones, yeah. and and um, mm -hmm. the Nigerian player, I forget his name, um, but obviously he's he's OB. yeah, there yeah. you go, involving with uh, you know with the owner and whatever the case is, and and this show, man, this show's so good. I mean, it it does such a good balance of humor and heart, and not just like heart, like you know, sad or sentimental, just a lot of positivity. 
right? A lot of mm-hmm. positive emotions. Like this show just draws, man. It's a very uplifting show. It really is. Football is life. Um, here in the states and <laughs> overseas, it's, it's a great thing. But <laughs> Alex Ross, yeah, he's amazing. But uh, it's just it's, it just balances that act so well. It's just so good. I, I think this is probably the best comedy right now, easily, uh, for me. The ending, yeah, I, 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 the whole Nate thing was was weird. You know, the, the, it was a bit abrupt that turn. Um, didn't get enough time to kind of set that up, really. For at the end, you're like, okay, it makes sense. It, it was kind of like it was a bit much. I mean, it was like, okay, really, already, fine. But that's my only complaint. The rest of the finale was fine, it was good. But mm-hmm. that one was kind of weird. I was like, okay, it was kind of forced. What for it was worth? A little bit condensed. Yeah, in the it, yeah, it was a three-minute comedy weekly show. I mean, right, right. Have, uh, and, an hour yeah, to draw and it, that out. Yeah, and it right. seems like something came like, with him. It tickling his feelings came out of nowhere. Um, so it was, it was weird. It was kind of, it was kind of awkward. It went, the last episode, he's happy, he's feeling good, he's you know kissing. Uh, Ken's girlfriend, whatever. And just all of a sudden now he's angry and upset. We just never got that before for the most part. There was some jealousy there and envy, of course, but nothing to that degree. Oh, we saw it in certain places. Certain places, but in, not, in, not like that, though. Yeah. Not like with his parents. You know, so and, he's, and, yeah, he's tearing up the sign yeah. and he's seen a little bit off, whatever the case is. But I think it was just, just fine if you just kept him the way it is. Maybe just kept him envious and jealous, but then, you know, he was at the, end of the, at the end of the show, we we see him, you know, coaching the, he's coaching the rival team, but West Ham, yeah, West it would be cool United, just yeah. if at the end, of the, instead of showing us that, showing him having a conversation with the owner, hey, you want to come with us? He's like, okay, yeah, because of the reasons he wanted, he wanted someone to spotlight on him, right? He didn't mm-hmm. have to hate Ted Lasso, you know. First, you can't hate Ted Lasso. Yeah. It's impossible to hate Ted Lasso for Christ's sake. Uh, apparently, you apparently can. you can. <laughs> so a few open arms, and I get it, you know, it's stupid Nate. Um, but whatever. Look, it's very good, excellent show. It, it deserves all the praise, man. This is this is a must watch. Absolutely, I had a lot of fun with the show and. and you know, obviously, we'll, and we'll renewed for chance. season three, so we're looking forward to the next. Well, season. yeah, that was a given. I just there's no way this was not going to get renewed. But, know, but yes, it's official. Great, and I can't wait to look forward to it. Um, that being said, let's move on to the stuff that did come out originally this week. And of course, we almost always start with Netflix. So when I start with Netflix again, it's a, do- a documentary uh, we mentioned last week coming out on uh, this past Tuesday. It's called Bad Sport. Which is a you know a docu series uh, marrying uh, sports and crime, if you will. So if you have interest in both this one, crime, corruption, yeah, corruption, or, or, some criminal, the fine line, just criminal the activity line. anyway. You know, as far as criminal activity in relation to sports, right? So, you know, we had for example the first episode where it talked about uh, the scandal nineteen uh, mid nineties with Arizona State basketball team shaving points ninety four ninety four yeah, yeah, yeah. With headache. Yep, yeah, yep. shaving points. And Nick Smith. Yeah, there's one about the the Juventus and the Italian team, you know, the with the referee mm-hmm. shenanigans, if you will. Yeah, I'm Italian. The Italians. Yeah, Italians. Damn it, Italians. Uh, you know, so... It's cool to say. I've seen three episodes. I think the second one was about uh, uh, racing and this guy, a drug dealer kind of mm-hmm. thing. So like, you kind of mix them up. Uh, well done. You know, I liked it. It's not one of the better documentaries. You know, it, you know. No, I, I mean, it's, it's okay. Uh, the, the, my only complaint is, is the... The subject matter, right? And and the um, you know obviously because because obviously this is international, so there's obviously uh, a couple U.S. based ones right with the racing and the basketball, the college basketball scandal. But then we get to the Italian soccer league, then we get into horse racing, then there's one on cricket, um, and and so you know, the the international ones I, I have less connection to, and maybe I don't care about much. You know, obviously. Horse racing? Do I really care? Right. Yeah. I, I was probably gonna skip that. Cricket, yeah, I'm gonna skip that I, one. Anyway. I, I skipped the cricket one yeah. altogether. I was like, I don't care about cricket. Whatever. The other ones, you know, were relevant because I love soccer. I know I, I obviously grew up through that's that the point chasing scandal sure. uh, at Arizona State. We remember that when we were in college at that time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so the racing one, eh, okay. But I mean, it was fairly interesting, right? What was going on with that? And you know, actually, the fact, most fascinating thing is how he came from nothing and got literally to be rookie of the year. Uh, at at uh, at not Formula One, sorry, at Indy, Indy I was right? Like, Damn. Which is probably, probably <laughs> that's impressive. Which, yeah, probably more interesting than, than than the rest of the angle of the show. But, yeah, but, yeah, yeah this is one where like, you know, look look at the episode count. It's only six, and just pick and choose a couple. You know, I'm not going to say this yeah. is the most why. It's good, it's solid, it's well done. But again, you're right. It's mm-hmm. some I just don't care about. You're at cricket, really seriously. Yeah. Um, I rather watch the Jets. Um, <laughs> that says a lot. But you know, the, the Arizona State was good, and the Juventus because look, although yeah, soccer is international. We, we watch soccer, we like soccer, and that was a big deal back then. Um, you know, so yeah, it's 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 hit or miss for the most part. Uh, you know, because you got time that documentaries is one I, I think we recommend to a certain degree. Um, another one which I don't watch, you do, so I'll let you talk about, it, and that's of course uh, on my block. Uh, Netflix uh, came out, I think season four. 
Amen. This is season, the final season, season final four. Season, so yeah. it's an interesting show. It's you know, obviously about four kids uh, growing up in, in, in L.A., right? Uh, with a mixture of high school drama, high school hijinks, uh, drug, uh, not drugs, sorry, gangs and gang activity. Uh, it's got hard, it's short, it's, it's a comedy, but it's got hard and it's got, and it's got some dramatic moments. Uh, it's a good show. You know, I'm not sure if it's must watch, but I mean, I've enjoyed it because I, I find the humor interesting uh, and the characters are offbeat and, and, and some of the uh, villains and, and antagonists are, are kind of off the, off the beaten path. But it's it's very, at, the, at its core, it's a, it's a very heartfelt, uh, warm uh, comedy uh, to enjoy. So I'll say somewhere between the Jets and Ted Lasso. Um, yeah, it's definitely not Ted Lasso, but Lasso. probably better than the yeah, Jets. Well, anything's better than the Jets. Um, well, maybe a bad match. But that's a different story for a yeah. different day. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't see it so yet, but I've heard, things, I've heard good things about it. I just never got into it. And at a certain point, I guess too late, I just don't go back and watch it. No, yeah. if you've missed it this point, don't, don't, right, it's not worth it. Exactly. Oh, I got to watch yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I, I wouldn't think it's must see. And you would have probably mentioned that before. If it was a must watch mm-hmm. show, do watch yeah. the show. So I get it. Um, stick with Netflix again. Netflix, I think all the shows. Oh, no, actually, no. The last show was not Netflix. Um, but this one here is another one, interesting one, a German show. I know, subtitled, yada, yada, yada. Listen, you can put the English dubbing, fine. Uh, but it's the Billion Dollar Code, which was mm-hmm. a four-part limited series uh, about um, two guys who invented uh, Terror Earth, which is a program which was... Terror Vision. Terror Vision I'm sorry, yeah. Terror Vision, which is virtually the same as Google Earth, which they claim Google stole their idea. And now it tells the story of how they came up with it. And now it leads into the trial that was done based off a true story, of course. Um, mm-hmm. This was surprising, man. I kind of like this one a lot, to be honest with you. I, I saw it all. So did I. Yeah. So did I. Very, very Especially okay. once, I, once I dug into it and found out that, yeah, it is based on actual yes. yeah. uh, documents and events and the lawsuit, right? right. So... Damn, damn Google. <laughs> <laughs> Shady ass Google. Um, but, but yeah, no, it, it's, it's, and it's told, it reminded me, if I compare it to anything, is um, the social, social network, of course, uh, you know, the, from the film uh, with, uh, oh, I forgot, the Lex Luthor. To, yeah, to a certain degree, but the name. social network is, ter- is told from the point of view of, of, of Zuckerberg, right? Right. In, in, in a certain degree, from his point sure. of view, right? So it's got that shade. Uh, so you have the big company, but this this one is told from the point of view of the little guy, right? Who the little guys who are getting screwed, which which is fairly common during the dot com rise. Um, you know, yeah, this was back then. This was back in the most bubbles where where yeah, yeah, this is early nineties throughout the nineties. So the the advent of the internet and and, and that explosion of, of technology, right? You think back, obviously, when we were up and you know. You know, having a, a 56 K modem was a big deal. To now, it's like you know, 56 K. Like, you know. Fuck is that? Yeah. Now we carry computers in our pockets and and you know do you know search the World Wide Web through it. Yeah. So, uh, but so obviously we can relate because we this is the time that we grew up in. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it portrays you know let's say Google being the bad guy, but in a sense, yeah, because this is how most companies. This is a modus operandi, right? right? They, big, big they business acquire bullying, smart yeah. companies. They, they they pull shenanigans to get uh, specific IP technology, right? Um, patent or not, they, you know they, they wheel and deal, and all of a sudden they, now they got a competing product and they kind of crush the little guy. So that this is the perspective, right? Where we're not, it wasn't going to happen. This, they weren't going to let it happen this time. Right. They, they wanted to fight back for obvious reasons. And it's interesting because they, mm-hmm. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but they mentioned something about how like, it's in this show, right? These guys, to give a little bit of what's going on, you know, when they're engaging with uh, one of the guys who's partnered with Google and they want to bring this, this Terra, uh, Terra, um, Terra Vision, Vision. Right? and, you know, expand it through Google and whatever and partner up with them. You know, they, they offered to buy it and, and, you know, they're going to put it in writing, well, well, you know, I think $5 million, more like between three and five minutes, what they're going to buy it for. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they made an offer on paper. Uh, right, on paper offer, offer, exactly. Right? With contingency that, you know, yeah. they work together and all that. But then the lawyer who's representing brought up how Google did that with a bunch of companies, right? Would make these offers. These guys were kind of exec, I'm knowledgeable, right? Between anything less than $10 million, right? And then they will back out in the deal. And what happens is that that, that set up these lawsuits because this patent patent uh, trials cost like 10 million you know to try so the attorney's like well listen on paper you already said it's worth five so fed why would i pay 10 million to try to win five million dollars right so it's yeah. really ingenious it's, it's, idea it's, a, it's a little handed but i mean it's smart i get it 
So these companies, of course, these companies can't afford to spend $10 million and who's going to take that chance, right? Just to win what they can tell a jury. Yeah, well, they offered me five. Well, that's what it's worth then, right? And here you go. So you're going to lose $5 million. No attorney would take those cases, which is why they kept getting pushed around. Um, these guys fall back. It's, it's, it's just told very well, man. I like that. Like, it goes back and forth, different timelines, and they, mm-hmm. much like Social Network did, you know, balancing the, the, some of the courtroom mm-hmm. stuff, at least depositions and all that, and you know, obviously what happened in the past. So very good show, man. I'm surprised. I really like this one. I, I um, definitely recommend it. I think it's a high recommend for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's only four episodes. So yeah, yeah, yeah short, short, it's good. It's, it's really well done, so I like that a lot. Um, the last one here. This is a, it's an interesting one. Uh, this is on uh, Peacock, the cock. Uh, you know, a new show uh, based off of, uh, I guess, popular novel, apparently, or books, a series of books, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, One of Us is Lying, uh, which dropped three episodes. Mm-hmm. I assume it's eight to ten. Mentiroso. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so this one here, it's, it's, it's a story about these high schoolers, you know, essentially. Uh, there's five of them, they'll end up in attention. One of the five ends up dying. So now one of the four, you know, obviously one of his lying. So when, obviously someone's trying to cover up. Right. So, it's so a who done it? So, yeah, somebody believes it's one of these four because they're the only ones in the room, and so that everyone's no one's trusting each other. What's going on? The police investigation, yada yada yada. A lot of high school drama behind the scenes because it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Ah man, this is such a mixed bag for me. I, 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 I should go first, Trey. I, I, I think you probably liked it. I don't know, but I'm just kind of curious. It's, well, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I, I watched my wife. My wife actually enjoyed it, right? So this is her cup of tea. Uh, I thought it was okay, and I, I watched it three episodes. Um, yeah, I had confused this with, with, I know what you did last summer. That's the, that show is coming out this week on the prime, which is obviously yeah, the horror a, series. A, a couple weeks, but either way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever, yeah, but that's the horror yeah. movie where, where obviously that, that's a slasher show. So I confused the two shows, uh, but I thought they're the same thing. So this is more of a, of a high school drama with, with secrets. And obviously we, we know, we, we learn up front what those secrets are. So the traditional is not, it's not about investigating what the secrets. One is gay. One is a, a cheat. One's a, 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 a well, a, 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 a cheat at school, right? Not another one. Right, right. right. A well, cheat one's on a boyfriend. Cheat, yeah, boy, yeah. One cheats on a boyfriend, one cheats on a There's two variants of cheat and yeah, one of the drug dealer, one, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and obviously, the, 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 the guy who's killed is, is uh, apparently a very smart, uh, well off uh, individual um, who, who plays on people's secrets and releases them through his little website. So that's how he get, you know, kind of gets even with the world in, in some sense of form. Uh, he's been picked on his whole life, but he ends up dead in the first episode. Um, right, right. So, and so it dives into the development of individual characters and their secrets and their interaction and, and try to build the, the world and build these characters through, through that lens as, uh, as, the, as we progress as far as trying to find out who actually did it, right? So we know that all of a sudden now there's sisters involved and there's other people involved and there's something about other, other suspects. Um, so... Uh, not like this is nothing like the only only murders in the building. That's fun, but, right? Yeah, you want murder mystery? Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Only murders in the building is the one you should be watching, and we'll put, we're definitely going to talk about that. You know, when that show when that show uh, in a couple of weeks yeah. ends in a couple of weeks, but mm-hmm. yeah, this one ugh, man, it's just it's hard because with these teenage kind of shows, it's hard to see a show that doesn't put these people in the box, right? You know, we have your jock. We have the criminal, we have your nerd, we have your popular girl, i.e. slow. It's just the same thing over and over again. And this is why I like something like sex education, right? Sex education kind of breaks down those barriers. You know, we get some of that. Or break, or it breaks the mold, right? To a certain I mean, degree. Right, to yeah. a certain degree. This one just kind of fits in the usual tropes and, oh, my God. It's a little bit, a little bit YA, which I'm not a fan of. I'm not saying it's bad. Just it's not me. And you know, you're, you're more tolerant to it than I. But it's just like, and, and they try to be cool and throw these references of John Hughes and this is older scary movie. First of all, like, if someone's young watching it, they have no fucking clue who John Hughes is and no clue when we, when we reference from this horror movie they're talking about. And so, so they try to be hip, but they're failing, right? It's like an old guy writing a show, <laughs> one of the makeup for young adults, and thinks he knows what's going on, and he doesn't. And his school is. Oh my God, dude, this school is the nicest school. This is nicer than half the universities in the country, for Christ's sake. I mean, it's incredible. Really? I mean, come on. <laughs> just, can we get a regular high school? You know, everybody's rich. It's the same people. The same right, right. I, th- I think they used the, the Bayside set. To be the, the, word, the Bayside <laughs> didn't look this nice. Oh my God. This is, I mean, Jesus, man. I mean, yeah, everybody's well off for the most part. It's just like, it's just, it's hard to relate to that, dude. It's just, you go to high school. Actually, you know, I, that's I, I think that's how it was. I'm going to push back on my comment because I got to my son's high school and that is a damn nice high school. <laughs> you walk in, they got a beautiful rotunda, everything is 
Like, wow, this is high school. I'm not saying there's not nice high school. It's right, but that's not. I don't think that's the norm, right? That's not a good representation of what high school probably is for most people, right? Let's be honest. And that's what I'm saying. If you do something, break the mold, whatever. So I'm not saying it's a terrible show. It's okay, but it's just again. You want a good murder mystery? There's other stuff you can watch. Yeah, this is very <laughs> at, true. At the, at very the end true. of the day, right? That that's better written, more well done, with a more interesting, mm-hmm. uh, you know, murder mystery behind it. So, yeah, I'm definitely much better humor. Not that this show is meant to be funny. It's not. No, this is not meant to be funny. Right, it's, it's a drama at the end of the day, right? So, but it's fine. It's okay. Like I said, it. I'm barely, okay. barely recommending it. Just, yeah. just slightest edge because again, it's not a terrible show. I don't want to paint in that picture. It's slippery. It's slippery. Just slight. It's not the Jets. You know, it's between the Jets and and bad. And uh, what's the show, first show? Speaking again? of which, and, have and, the Jets scored yet? Because I got a couple players, man. Like, what are they doing? What are you, are we doing <laughs> a li- we're gonna do a live update. How this will be taped, but uh, yeah. it's 17-0 Falcons. Um, ah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> so yeah, the troubles continue wow. for Chewy. Uh, but, wow. <laughs> but that being said. Those are the shows that came out this week. So I think we're both on Bat Sport. Yeah, fine. Um, you know, there's one of us is lying. Buyer beware as far as I'm concerned. Uh, on the block, you know, if you're watching the show, there's a reason why you shouldn't be watching it. Ted Lasso, obviously, is absolute much watch. I'm, I'm building that a code. I think we agree it's a must watch. I don't say must watch. but That one's a good watch. That was a good it's watch. It's a good watch. It's close to must watch. I'm just saying it's must, but it's close. It's a very good. I think it's only four episodes. I think you should guys check it out. That being said, it's always shows coming out. So let's focus on next week, too. You got to... A few things here popping. I think we have six shows popping out. Uh, starting five or six, yeah. Yeah, I think I have six here. So starting on yeah. Tuesday, the twelfth, we have Netflix. Of course, the movies that made it, season three. I love this series, and you know the last one was great because it, it had you know we're talking about big films. You know, doing a uh, this kind Jurassic of comedic, Park. comedic, comedic yeah. behind the scenes unveiling of you know the making of Jurassic Park, Forrest Gump, Back to the Future, Pretty Woman. Uh, I think this season we're gonna get a look at Aliens. Um, Coming to oh, America, coming to America, Halloween. So it's oh, like, yeah. some big films, man. Really cool behind the scenes from the producers and people involved in the projects, and it's done very comedically. So I love this stuff. So that mm-hmm. one's coming out. We got The Sinner, season four on uh, USA, right? Um, yeah. And you can actually catch The Sinner. I, I believe it's still on uh, first three seasons on Netflix. That's usually how. Uh, probably. I yeah, think so. Yeah. Drop it on Netflix at the year after. Yeah, and it's of course you know. Up. Yeah, and it shows starring ex-president Bill Pullman. Of course, you know you got to come. Mm-hmm. Just kind of have to watch. But it's an excellent show. The, the third season I wasn't a huge fan of, but the first two are great. And hoping this one. Gets no, the first good. two are great. Third season kind it's of okay. Kind of step back. Yeah. See what happens in season four. Exactly. It's a good like mur- it's like a dark murder mystery kind of thing. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a very very good show. Another one, Disney Plus. This one I was not aware of. Uh, it's kind of a, almost like an anthology show, I guess, right? Uh, the, the, a, a, a Halloween anthology show, yeah. scary show. Yeah, yeah. just be honest. For, 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 for now, granted, the Disney standards, right? So you know, well, it's Disney, but yeah, listen, this people have families out there. It should be a cool watch, you know. But it looks interesting, you know. I, you know, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll check it out. Let you know. We got another one uh, starring the great, the great Michael Keaton. Of course, that's Dope Stick on Hulu, and coming Hulu. out the 13th, right? I think this was a. Based on again, almost like we talked about Goliath, the show that kind of tackled the the whole uh, pharmaceutical companies. And the opioid crisis. Uh, yeah, with this one. Purdue Pharma. Yeah, this, yeah is just, this is the same subject matter. You know, obviously, you know, up against that. So, yeah, it looks interesting. It's Michael Keaton, so why not? Another one. Show I don't watch, but people do like it. It's you on Netflix. Come oh, on, I love that show. Yeah, people really like I it. I, this this one I missed. I go on. Yeah, that never went back. So it just it is. Yeah, what it is. no, this yeah. is season three. I, I I just you know this. It was just one of these days where I was like, I oh, need to check this out. And, and I got hooked, man. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very good. Yeah, it's, yeah. it reminds this me. This is this is this is one of these off the beaten path type of of uh, uh, slasher characters. Yeah, uh, serial killer. It's a serial probably, killer, yeah, more likely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. and he's and yeah. and, and he's, a he's taken from his point of view, and, and, and so and it progresses from there. A, a very interesting character. I mean, kind of like a Dexter, right? Yes, I was about to say that. Dexter. I was about to say yes. that. That which I love Dexter. Yes. Um, yes. and we talk about, I'll be talking about that show in a month, but yeah, it's, mm-hmm. but I hear people good things about it, so that remind you guys coming out this, on the 15th, and also on the 15th, we got HBO Max. We everyone's dropping a show this week, it's usually just Netflix. Um, of course, that is Succession. Uh, that's uh, 17th, by the way, that's on s- Sunday, s- 17th. I'm sorry, that, that says yeah. 17th. No? Well, yeah, yeah, fine, 17th, but either way, uh, that's coming out as well. Sunday night, season three, s- season three, so probably won't. We'll be talking about this for another couple of weeks, but I, uh, either way, but it's coming out on Sunday, so it's still kind of this week um, for the most part. But yeah, it's another another good show from, from HBO Max. So that's, that's six shows. Um, they look good, man. And The Center, I think, is, is weekly. So yes, not a, The Center is weekly. Suggestion is yeah. weekly. The rest will be will be full drops. Well, right, Dope exactly. Stick, Dope Stick, uh, may be a weekly drop because most of the shows, because they do Wu 
Wu-Tang, they did Why the Last Man. Oh, you're, you're right. They, they may drop like the first so, three and then we yes. after that. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Which is good. So you can kind of, you know, spread these out a little bit, have to mm -hmm. binge watch all the shows in a certain week and all that. It's good for us too, obviously, yeah. Chewy, for obvious reasons. Uh, but that being said, man, you know, that's what we got this week. That's what's coming up next week. There's always good stuff here. Uh, but that being said, we appreciate you guys joining us. Subscribe, like, of course. Everybody is pray for Chewy's fantasy team to improve because God knows he needs it. Because uh, you have to rely on the Jets. I don't know why that happens. Zach Wilson on the Jets. But that being said, we'll see you guys next week and uh, we appreciate it. Peace.